Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at a clip where somebody says I'm sick of men sliding into my DMs and then pretending like they're not into fat women. We're also going to be taking a look at a bonus clip. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. Bonsoir, it's a fat girl rant. Fat girl rant time, my favorite time of day. <laughs> As usual, um, today it is about when you talk to a guy and you've been texting and then obviously it fizzles out, but then you see he's got a girlfriend and she's just a plain Jane slim gal. <laughs> so you don't want to be the thick side chick. That rhymes. And it's like, <clears throat> you slid into my DMs because you'd seen that I did spicy content. You've definitely subscribed to certain sites and you have really tried to bone me <laughs> and now you're pretending like you don't like fat girls but then you date boring straight sized just plain james boring straight sized plain james is what you date even though you dm'd me and you like larger women so being straight sized makes you a boring plain jane okay yeah, there's nothing more interesting than being obese. That's a strange angle to take. Dude, you could be with all those boring ass, good looking people, or you could be with me. What are we doing? <laughs> I am exotic, okay? At what stage of obesity does one become more interesting? Um, <laughs> that's what I would like to know. The stage where you put on the colored glasses, because you're not even there yet yourself, so you still have a little bit of growing to do. And it's like, just admit that you fancy fat girls and go out with them. Just admit it. Just admit that you fancy fat girls and go out with them. Why are you being so fat phobic? <laughs> okay, so somebody slid into your DMs, it didn't work out, and then you went and looked at his profile and saw that he had a girlfriend and she was skinny. And now he's fat phobic. Why is he DMing you if he's got a girlfriend to begin with? That's my question. This is really weird. It's so annoying because I know that you fancy fat girls because I've seen all the girls that you like on... <laughs> I know that you fancy fat girls. Quit playing games, okay? I've seen your Instagram. I don't know what you're doing. No social media, then you always date straight, like slim girls. Well, if somebody always dates slim girls, um, I would imagine that that's what they're into. I know that you date nothing but slim girls, but you definitely want a fat girl. You did DM me that one time. Although she does have a point. If somebody's DMing her whatever kind of way, uh, that's indicative that they're into that, so that's a little alarming. You're out there dating all these skinny girls, but secretly DMing fat girls? What's going on? How many of those dudes that are overly, like, fat-shaming people are actually the ones hitting these people up in their DMs? The dude who's all like, hey, fatty, you're stupid, just lose weight. And then, like, ten minutes later, he's in the DMs like, oh, man, you are so beautiful. <laughs> we live in a very complicated world. Complicated. And this is obviously not me. I love slim girls. I love all girls. Girls are the, what make the world run. But okay. just admit that you fancy fat girls and just get over it. We're not in the 90s anymore. Fat is beautiful. We're not in the 90s anymore. Fat is beautiful. We are well out of the 90s. I notice that more and more each passing day. Like, just do it. Okay. Yeah, do it. Quit pretending like you don't fancy fat girls just because you date nothing but skinny women. Just nod to that as well. If you like a gun, just rub it. <laughs> just wait, 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 wait. What? As well, if you like a gun, just rub it. If you like a gut, just rub it. Is that what she's saying? If you like a gun, just rub it. <laughs> if you like again, just rub it. Why am I deaf? Why can't I understand? I'm sorry. Just embrace a girl with. A tell me if that's what you like. Oh, okay. Embrace a girl with a tell me if that's what you like. Well, thank you for giving me permission. If you like mango, you should eat some mango. Okay, there you go. You got some permission from me now. A random dude. Um, <laughs> I know she's trying to be encouraging. It's just funny to me when some random person's like, If you like this, go ahead and do it. Like, as if you hadn't thought of that. I love oranges. I never thought that maybe I should eat one. Hmm. Good idea. That's a good idea. I should do the things that I enjoy. Sorry, I'm a total douche, man. <laughs> Don't you dare try to be uplifting with me, dude. Don't you dare. Ever. <laughs> yeah, you can totally do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> that is the dumbest shit I ever heard. <laughs> 
Sorry, sorry, you can like whatever you want. I don't mean to discourage anyone. Who gives a fuck if you, oh my God, I got gray hair. Who gives a fuck if your mates think it's funny that you fancy fat, but just say. <laughs> so is that what's going on here? You think that most people fancy a fat girl, but their mates judgment is what is holding them back. For my friends in the US, your mate is your friend. I know it sounds weird because over here to mate means something a little different. And I'm sure that you all knew that. I don't have to explain that to you. I have to agree with the sentiment of that though. If your friends are making fun of you for who you date, um, ignore them and date who you want. Hey mate, she's fit. Have you seen her face? I, I like a, bin, a, bun, a big chubby belly. I like a big chubby belly, you will tell your mates. Have you seen her face? Well, if her face looks good through all the excess adipose, I imagine it would look even better without the excess adipose. I think Amber Lynn would be very pretty if she lost the weight. I'm sure a lot of other people have said that. Maybe it just works with her weight, and if she lost weight, she'd look all weird. Who knows? I mean, as big girls make a lot of money, selling a lot of spicy stuff, so... It's you know, there's a market for it, you're... Mm, okay. Well, just because there's a market for it in the spicy content department doesn't mean that people want to date it or be with it. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to refer to people as it. Some people seem to be dating the thing that they're into, like their F etish, which is a little bit weird to me. Like if you're into whatever weird specific kind of adult content, and that's what it takes to get your rocks off. Rarely does that align with your real and regular life, right? That's just the kind of content you watch to, to get the job done. And then you go back to being normal. You're not actually into that in real life, right? You get what I'm trying to get at here, at least for a lot of people. But to summarize, the things that people are into in an f etish way are not necessarily the things that they want to be with in their day-to-day -day life. So if somebody is watching plus-size adult content for the purpose of getting their rocks off, that doesn't necessarily mean that they want to be with a plus-size person. There might be a huge distinction between those. Quite clearly do you fancy as you just don't want to f me in. It's so annoying. Hey, like I said, sometimes what people want to have relations with is not the same as what they want to start a future with. A lot of times the relations department is completely separate from the hey, let's start a future together department. Not saying it's right or wrong, but it is what it is. Next. I just realized that the 10 minute thing is gone. How rude. I really wanted to go on a rant. But I came here to say one thing. Stop telling ugly people that it's okay because at least they're not fat. <laughs> it's not okay, I guess, right? B Come on. Even you know that doesn't make sense. Okay. Mm have pictures of me when I was like super young. Um, and I remember someone saying to me like, oh my gosh, you were so skinny here. And I was like. You got mad. They always seem to get mad when somebody brings up a picture where they were previously skinny. Oh my god, you were so skinny here. I can't believe it. What, what's that, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing, I was just saying, you know, you look really good. I literally have vivid memories of that exact moment where people were complaining about why I wasn't small enough to fit into, like, kids' size dresses for First Communion, hashtag. People were complaining that I wasn't small enough. The wording that you guys use is so bizarre, dude. People weren't complaining that I was too fat. They were complaining that I wasn't small enough. Trying to shrink our bodies. Bizarre terminology from this group all around. Catholic PTSD. Like, bitch, I'm 13. Leave me alone. Dresses for communion. Catholic PTSD. If picking out a dress is giving you PTSD, if simple everyday tasks like buying a dress are giving you PTSD, you might want to reevaluate some of your life's choices. I don't personally have a panic attack when I go to buy a shirt. Leave me alone. And I'm like, let's be honest, dude. Some people are really just severely unattractive. Someone might find them attractive, but in a general sense, everyone should feel pretty in their own bodies, but we have... <laughs> Some people are unattractive. Don't you dare compare them to fat people. By the way, I've never heard anybody say, you may be ugly, but at least you're not fat. I don't think anybody's gonna start their sentence off to begin with, with, well, you may be ugly, dot, 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 but at least you're not fat. Like, nobody's gonna do that. Well, you are a total idiot, but at least you're not fat, you know? You got that going for you. You could apply that to literally anything. Yeah, you crashed that car into the side of the building and killed a bunch of people, but at least you're not fat, you know? You got that going. I have to just be honest, some of us 
are cute, some of us are not. Okay, so what we've got here is a big old pipe full of copium. That's what I'm saying. And it sounds to me like you've packed yourself a big fat bowl of copium and you're smoking it. I may be fat, but at least I'm not ugly like the rest of you idiots, huh? Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. And that's okay because everyone's gonna age, everyone's gonna change. Like, you know, I, I know this body is like just a little meat sack and like that's not really what matters. What, let me talk about this. Okay, go on. Because fat people, their whole lives are told, oh my gosh, you'd be so much prettier if you just lost weight. The thing is, if you are fat and lose weight, you're still the same amount of pretty. You sure? Are you sure about that? Weight loss doesn't make you look better at all. Hmm, that's pretty bizarre. So somebody could have all this extra adipose tissue, all this extra stuff on their body, and not have it affect their appearance at all. You look completely fine. Gee, that's weird. I would think the further and further we stray from nature, and God, the less attractive we are. Personally, you know. But I'm just a guy with a microphone, what would I know? Yes, some people experience a more youthful look once they lose weight, but- <laughs> Is that what happens? Is that all that happens when you lose weight? You experience a more youthful look? Okay. You don't think the removal of all this extra stuff from your face is gonna make you look better? When I was larger, I was only 60 pounds overweight, and I looked a lot sillier than I look now. Here's some photos. Was I living my best life here? Or how about here? Or what about here? If we are attracted to signs of health, and we are, the further you stray from health, the less attractive you will be. Common sense. But you were pretty to begin with. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. The idea that you won't look more attractive the healthier you get and the more hard work you put into yourself is ridiculous, yes. You're just like, you'll never look better by losing weight. If you're ugly, you're ugly, stupid. Not like us beautiful people. And people who are not fat are like, well, at least you're not fat. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that. I've never heard anybody say, well, you may be ugly, but at least you're not fat. We don't typically say the first part. Well, you may be ugly. I've never said that to anybody in my life. That seems a little uh, rude to me. Who the hell says that to somebody? Don't worry, ugly. Things will turn around for you. At least you're not fat, huh? Yeah, nobody, nobody's saying that. That's really weird. A fly just flew by. And I'm like, B Girl, stop. A fat ass might help you at this very moment, you know? Like... Oh? A fat butt might help you this very moment. Uh, maybe if it was just your butt that was fat and it wasn't just larger because the rest of you was also obese, um, perhaps. I don't think people are looking for a big old juicy booty like the kind that comes from being morbidly obese. I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just saying words that are accurate. A lot of people may be into a big old juicy booty these days, but typically they're looking for that big old juicy booty attached to somebody who is not big old and juicy the rest of the way around. Which is not at all realistic, honestly, right? If you're looking for somebody who's built like this, oh, like that's not realistic. Especially when the people you're looking up to had plastic surgery, right? You think that one chick who's famous for having a big old booty didn't get a BBL? Yes, she did. And now it looks like a wet diaper hanging off the backside. Kim K. That might be your saving grace. A butter face. I would admit. Okay. Well, it's hard to have sympathy for you in your situation when you're lashing out at others in this way. A million out of a million times rather be this fat person in this fat body living this fat experience than to be skinny but ugly. So you've been hurt and you're lashing out at the world, right? This is some high level cope right here. Not to be mean, but who gave you the idea that you're pretty? Like you're pretty enough to go around dunking on everybody else because they're so ugly in comparison. You know what I mean? And then typically most of the people who are face ugly, body skinny, usually have terrible personalities too. And I'm like... Face ugly, body skinny, usually have terrible personalities too. Is this a good personality, um, what you're doing right here? This person has been made fun of for their weight before or something like that. And now they're lashing out at these so-called ugly skinny people, which likely don't exist. This reminds me of that old saying like, I may be fat, but at least I could lose weight. You're ugly. Or something like that. Some insult that kids used to use. And you also made the bizarre statement that losing weight doesn't really make you look that much better. It may make you look more youthful or whatever, but beyond that... You gotta pick a struggle! So anyway, yeah, I'm just tired of hearing. You'd be so much prettier if you just lost weight. <laughs> so that's where this all comes from. You'd be so much prettier if you just lost weight. And that's why you went on this rant about actually um, ugly people are the real problem here. 
and losing weight will not make me more attractive. Okay. You'd be so much smarter if you just stopped saying such fucking stupid shit, but I'm not saying it. Okay, there was a cut right there. After you said you'd be so much smarter, you couldn't come up with anything. So there's a jump cut there. So that's ironic. Let's go back. You'd be so much smarter if you just stopped saying such f You'd be so much smarter. And then there was a cut. If you just stopped saying yada, yada, yada. So you couldn't come up with anything on the spot. That is very ironic. Dude, you guys are so dumb. You can't even come up with anything to say. Stupid sh But I'm not saying anything to you. Actually, it's not even that. It's telling ugly ass people that it's okay because there's a lot of skinny people that are butt ass fugly stfu fat and ugly are not the same word it says on the bottom okay so a lot of people have told you that you would look pretty if you lost weight and it's making you really angry because it's reminding you that it is possible to lose weight and you're not doing the hard work of losing weight at least they're not fat okay so that was weird um <laughs> stop telling fat people that they would look better if they lost weight I think that's encouraging. I don't know what the problem is. If somebody's like, oh, dude, you would look so much better if you lost weight. I think they're implying that you have a pretty face. We could take that compliment or we could go on a rant about how we're better looking than all these ugly skinny people. What do you think? Is it okay to be ugly? <laughs> what a stupid ass video. <laughs> Please subscribe to the channel and help me get to 50,000. Also, please click the like button. One like equals one mustache coming. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.